Well, good morning. Rise and shine. It's time for you to go be great and to give God the glory. Sometimes we feel as if we're in a constant battle. Battlefield of the mind, circumstances that come our way, challenges that we don't understand, losses that we can't figure out. But the one thing about God is no matter what we experience, God never, ever changes and never will. So this morning at 5 o'clock a.m., this came to me and I want to give this to you. It's a setup for a showdown. Barry White said, show you right. One of the things that I have learned in my 49 years on this earth is that whenever God allows something, God is purposeful. There is an intention. He doesn't just do things haphazardly or just to be doing things. And so as you've learned to walk with him and trust him and know more and more about and learn more and more about his character and his ways, then you too will begin to recognize that whatever storm you're experiencing, whatever situation that has come your way, it's just a setup. It's just a setup for a showdown. 1 Peter 5 and 10, which is one of my favorite scriptures of all time. 1 Peter 5 and 10 says, After you have suffered a little while, the God of all grace, who has called you to his eternal glory in Christ, will himself restore, confirm, strengthen, and establish you. It's a setup, I'm telling you, for a showdown. God wants to show you who he is and he wants to prove to you who you are. Let's get excited. It's kind of like saying, bring it on. So one of the things I love when I read the word, I like to break that word down. So I'm going to break down the words, restore, confirm, strengthen, and establish you. To restore means to renovate, to repair to its original condition, to place or position. Confirm means to vouch for. That means God's going to speak up for you. Isn't that wonderful? Strengthen, increase strength, inherit power, become very strong in the Lord. And establish you means make firm acceptance or recognition for a cause to grow and multiply and support you. When God establishes you, he decrees whatever he chooses to in your life by his authority. And no one, no one in heaven or earth can change that. God has made up his mind that when you go through whatever it is you're experiencing, the loss of a loved one, loss of your job, the, the whole coronavirus pandemic, all of these things that we can't seem to understand that baffles us, leaves us in a state of confusion and some people in a state of depression. I want to let you know that we're going to lift that today in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. We're going to do that today because after you have suffered a little while, how long, Lord? Not long. But after you have suffered a little while, the God of all grace, he has all grace and he has all power. The God of all grace who has called you, he knew your name, he knew you before you were even born, called you to his eternal glory in Christ, will himself restore, confirm, strengthen, and establish you. You know, sometimes people send other people to do the job, but God doesn't send other people to do his job. He may have people assist him, but he is the author and the finisher of your faith. He has the blueprint for your blessing. God has you in mind. And so right now, stop looking for this person to come to your rescue. Because in 1 Peter 5 and 10, God says, the God of all grace, who has called you to his eternal glory in Christ, will himself restore you, remember, repair you, establish you, 
He will establish you. He will make firm. He will decree by his authority who you are. Confirm you. He's going to vouch for you. He's going to stand up for you. Strengthen you to increase your power, to increase your strength, to make you strong in the Lord. Amen. I'm so excited. So in the storm, get ready and understand that this is just a setup. It's just a setup for a showdown. Let God show you who he really is. Let God reveal to you who you really are. Let God grow you through the storm. Not just go through the storm, but grow. That means when you come out, you're going to be bigger. You're going to be better. You're going to be wiser. You're going to be stronger. Now, according to your faith, be it unto you. This morning, whatever you face, today, this afternoon, tonight, whatever time it is, I want you to remember that this is just a setup for a showdown. And because God is on your side, you have to win. You must win. Now go and be great.